Eh, let me see here. Okay, I'm gonna use this really bright pink. I don't even know what this is, guys, sorry. Um, if it has paper, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, here we go. At the right end of the thing. This is Impeccable Yarn by Loops and Threads. You can get this at Michael's. I think that's the only place that sells it. And this is color Arbor Rose. Arbor Rose. And it's basically the same weight yarn, so I don't need to switch out my needle or anything like that. And you don't want to do that, because you don't want it to be any tighter than the front of the yarn. You just want it to keep working, right? So let me get the middle. So I always start off, if I'm going to change out the color, obviously this is where we ended, but I'm going to start it there too, because uh, we're going to add tassels, and the tassels will end up covering up all this where you switched out the yarn colors and things. So I really like to start there. That's just a good place to start instead of starting somewhere else where you're gonna have to end up trying to hide it, okay? So I'm just gonna pick a place which is hopefully in the center of that last single crochet, right? That was the last decrease of the two, so we only have one single crochet left. And I'm gonna pick up my yarn. Again, this is the right side of the work facing you. This is the inside of the hat. So I'm going from the outside in, and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna add the pink yarn. I'm just gonna pull up a loop. And again, I like to, to anchor that yarn. I'm gonna chain one with both ends, okay? And I'm just gonna single crochet throughout the whole evenly. So when I look at this, these were all single crochets. And so there are about 10, nine, nine rows. So I like to do this evenly, as evenly as I can. Um, since I started here, I act like that's the middle. I'm gonna put three in the where it turns here okay because this is going to end up turning so i already did one well kind of <laughs> so i'm going to add another one just there um and you're still gonna have to add one more so <laughs> you can do it at the end or at the beginning so i just added a single crochet in that same area i'm gonna move into this next area which is basically where the next row starts or ended I'm gonna try to kind of find your way in there and you know, this is up to you how you wanna do it. A lot of times with crochet people say, oh, just kind of feel around <laughs> when you do how to do this. So it's up to you. So I'm gonna pull up a loop and my single crochet. So I'm gonna single crochet evenly around the whole perimeter. It gets easy when you get to a part where there's actually um, crocheting going on. <laughs> um, I'll show you that in a second when I get there. So I'm gonna kind of evenly try to space this out so I can get to this top area, oh my goodness, my phone keeps going off. Uh, I'm gonna evenly space some single crochets, and it doesn't matter if you how many or le little you have. If you know that you had 10, then try to do 10 at the other flap so that you remember exactly how many, okay? So I'm gonna crawl up this area here, single crocheting, and I'll get to you back when I'm done. So I just wanna show you, it took me 10. I was able to put 10 evenly spaced across here. And if this is your first time making this hat, I would definitely encourage you that you do not change out the color because then you won't be able to tell. You won't be able to see like where this went in, where it came out, but since this is pink, you, you can kind of see it a little better. And I just kind of try to keep it as even as I can, okay? So that took 10 to get to this side here. Now, this is where it starts going straight across, okay? So as you can see, this kind of item came out here. Now this is up to you. Sometimes I choose to not go into this one and just go into the next one. And you can decide how you want it to look. So I'm gonna go in there and single crochet and bring that over. And it just kind of pulls that together. If you wanted to go into that first one, it would look a little bit different and that's up to you. And of course it would add another stitch. So you would put it in here and then keep going. And you know, it's up to you. You do what you like. I just kind of, skip over that one. So I go into this next one, but that's up to you. Like I said, do what you like. And this is easy because these are all double crochets and you can see clearly that they are double crochets. So all I do is just do one single crochet in each double crochet. So that's what's nice when you have the beginning and the end or like where you can just stitch right over what was there. But we're gonna keep going. And I get to the end again, add one more. And now I'm at the flap. And at this flap, again, we're going to stitch single crochet evenly across the flap. Since I did 10 on the other one, I'm gonna put 10 here, okay? So when I do the 10, I will so come right back. eight. Here's gonna be my nine. Oops, kind of in this little area here. And I wanted to show you, 10 brings you right back to the tip again, right into that last single crochet that you did when you decreased them. So that's 10. I'm gonna add two more in here. So at, when you go to turn, there's three, okay? So that was one in that area. I'm gonna add two, three. Get that yellow yarn out of the way for now. Okay, and that kind of gives you a little corner to turn and it's gonna look like kind of like a shell. And now you're gonna go up 
the other side of your hat. So since we did three there, we're done with that stitch. We're gonna go into the next one. And like I said, you kind of have to eyeball this one. I kind of have a way where I stick it in between where there's like a little loop. And then the next one I stick it in this, it looks like a knot, <laughs> but I kind of shove it in there and it has a little hole and you can bring it up. So that's how I do it. I mean, so pretty much in each row, there's gonna be a stitch like here. This is where I stick it in between these two guys. Oh, there should be two. And then the next one I pick up is again that weird little knot and it does let you go through there. So I'm gonna push it through there. Okay, and I'm gonna continue up the side till this is the back area. Actually, did we just do that? We did the back. So as you're coming around, you're gonna come around the front. The front again, you just put it one in each of your double crochets and I'm gonna come back down the other flap. Okay, so I'll come back, at that, back at that very beginning. So remember we had already put one single crochet in here after we chained one. So this is my last single crochet over here. But what I need to put two more in here to make it three, just like we did on the other side when we had the three going around, okay? So since we start with one, we're gonna add two more. Or you can start with two and add one more at the end. It doesn't matter, as long as you have three there. So there's one, and here's two, and that's the end of it. And then I'm just gonna attach it to the beginning, um, chain one or wherever you wanna put it because basically it's gonna get covered anyway. So that's it. So I'm just gonna pull it through, and we can weave it off now or fasten it off. So I'm just gonna cut off a little bit and again, I like to pull it through this way. That's just how I do it. And give it a nice tug. And that's it. So your hat, we have all these different things that we gotta weave in later, but I just wanna show you it is done. And so what we're gonna do is decorate it now. You can just leave it like this um, and then add your, see the wider part is the front, okay? So there's less stitches in the back. There should only be about seven or eight stitches back here between one ear flap to the next. Look how cute, it's like a little pink lemonade hat. So what I'm gonna do is make a little flower and I guess I'll show you guys how to do that. Just a really basic little flower I'm gonna add on here with like a button. And then we're gonna add um, braids for the sides of the ear flap. But isn't that cute? And some people just leave them like this anyway. So that's up to you, but let's um, get it decorated. Okay, so I had to kind of change out my venue here because uh, my kids got home from school. I'm in my craft room now, so it's a different background. But we're gonna go ahead and decorate our little hat. We just finished it up. And um, instead of taking time to show you how to make a flower and other things just because it's gonna be a waste of time to just make the hat um, I'm gonna make it a little quicker so what we're gonna do is go ahead and finish up adding their tassels and I did make a little flower off camera and I'll give you a link to different flower tutorials if you'd like to check those out um, I used to always Google you know flower five petal flower six petal flower whatever it is that you want and then find it you know online um, so all these other little bits that are inside your hat all these extra strings what I would do is just take a, um, a needle a yarn needle so it's very wide so you can actually put your yarn in there and just sew it in back into the hat underneath wherever you think it's gonna hold it best so like for here I might go this way a little bit and then you this one's really short but you can knot it maybe give it a little knot and then go back in the other direction and then cut it off you just kinda wanna weave it back into your work that way it doesn't um, come apart okay so like if you were to wash it later or whatever it's not just gonna fall apart so I just like to kinda go in either direction like this one's too short to not but I would just do what I can and you're gonna do that with all of them okay with all your little extra strings make sure to get rid of them and once you're happy with how you wove it in you're just gonna cut it off okay and lots of people do it different ways do whatever you know that you like to weave in ends so like these ends right here this is gonna get covered up so I might even just like take this one and actually just knot them together. There's lots of different ways to weave in ends and to finish things up, so I'm just gonna knot those together and actually do like an overhand knot. Keep it nice and tight. And so we're just gonna finish up all our different little ends and weave them in, cut them off, whatever you have to do. Okay, and that's on the inside of the hat. You don't want those things showing through later, of course. Um, I have this little guy left, and I'm just gonna leave it there for now because what I'm gonna do is add our tassels. So. You can leave them as tassels so it's long and flowing, or you can braid it. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and braid them. But what I did was cut six links for each um, tassel or each flap here, um, side flap. Uh, I cut six links of the pink at 24 inches. They're all 24 inches long. And so total, you're gonna cut 12 of them because you need two sets. That's what I did. If you wanna keep it all one color, your little tassels, go ahead and do that if you wanna. Uh, variegate the colors like I'm gonna do that's you know you can do that too so what I do is line them all up and I had them right but now they got all mixed up there's four five six six lengths again they're 24 inches long and that'll leave you tassels that are like between you know nine and eleven inches or so long I forget how long they are when after you fold it so uh, here are my six lengths 
And then I have three of the yellow, okay, of the ducky color. There's three. And this part is like, you know, it doesn't really matter how you line them up, but I'm kind of of the opinion I need to have three of the pink, three of the yellow, and then three more of the pink. For whatever reason, I just like to do it that way, or if I have other colors or three different colors, just keep them all kind of together, but separate, as you can see. And what you're gonna do is just take that and fold it in half. Okay, so now I have a fold in half. They're about 12 inches on either side. I'm gonna put this down for a second. And all you're gonna do is take your crochet tool and from the inside out, okay, from the inside out, the inside of the hat pointing out, you're gonna take that crochet hook and bring in your your pieces that you're gonna be using for the um, braids here. And you're gonna pull it through. Sometimes it can take a little bit of work because some might stay on the other side, but just kind of pay attention to what you're doing and make sure you bring them all through. Okay, now that I have them all through, I'm going to grab the other end. And there's that little extra guy, and I just can't leave it there. And bring it through the loop. Okay, so now what's gonna end up is you're gonna have the decorative nice side of your loop facing out. And then before I give it a nice tug, I like to kind of arrange it so that the um, so that the strands are like three, 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 just kind of how I brought it in. Because once you start pulling it, as you can see, the different colors want to come together and then it just looks nicer. Okay, so I kind of left them so that they're pink, yellow, pink, like bands. And you can pull it as tight or as loosely as you want. So I'm gonna pull it about that tight, okay? So it leaves a little knob there. And now all we're gonna do is start braiding. So what I do to braid is I get all the colors together that I that I should have. So since we had three, each set of braid colors should have six. So this one has six strands of pink, six strands of yellow, and then another six strands of pink. I'm sorry, my kids are watching Hunger Games or whatever that, Catching Fire, whatever it's called. So maybe you can hear that in the background. And all you're gonna do is braid it. So just start braiding like you would braid your hair. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way down this strip, braiding, braiding, braiding until I get to the and very end. get towards the bottom here, I have a couple inches and they're kind of raggedy. I'm just gonna finish it off, just kind of hold them together. There's a couple that are already kind of at the end. So I'm gonna hold them together and you're gonna make a kind of a big knot because by the time you get it to the bottom, it'll be back where it needs to be at the very bottom. So I'm gonna push all these guys through and we're gonna do the exact same thing for the other side. I'm just knotting this, okay? So make sure you get all your strands through because by this time, sometimes there are, some of them are really short and some aren't. And when you pull it, you're gonna push down so that it doesn't get too tight on the part that you don't want knotted up. Obviously you want your braids out. So I'm just kind of being really loose with it, kind of pushing this down. And until you get to where you like it. And then um, obviously on the other side of the braid, you're gonna do the same and try to keep it so that they're even, so that they're the same length. So there it is. So that's one of your little braids that are just gonna hang down, really cute. Give it a nice tug. Now, sometimes I like to leave it like this, kind of jagged. If you don't like that, all you're gonna do is just take, keep them together and cut them so that they're all about the same length. Okay, and that just gives a neater appearance, but I kind of like when they're just kind of all different. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the other side of the flap. Okay, so here we are with both of the little braids, and since you, you know, measure them out at the beginning so they're about the same, it ends up being pretty close to even at the end, okay? So, eh, maybe I can get a tug this one, there we go. So there they are. So um, that's it, and then, I mean, you can leave your little hat like this, it's super cute. Like I said, I just downloaded a little, um, actually what I did was I was looking for flower um, tutorials and I didn't really find one that I was happy with and then the size and whatever else so I just made this up so what I did and I don't know why I told you guys I just googled it and it's not true so what I did was I made a, um, a magic ring and in that magic ring I put 15 um, double crochets okay so 15 double crochet with the yellow and then I changed over to pink and in every other double crochet, I did 15, and every other, and then I joined it together to make a circle. You know, just pull it tight with the magic ring and then join it together at the end. I put in every other double crochet, I did a single crochet, three double crochet, single crochet. 
I skipped one, went to the next um, double crochet, did single crochet, three double crochet, one single crochet in the same place. Skip one and do the same thing again. So every other double crochet I did um, the what I would call a scallop or a shell, I guess. And it made this cute little loopy flower. I didn't even know what to expect because I really didn't know what was going to happen. So that's all I did. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of follow along with that. And so what I'm going to do now is attach this to my hat. And um, I was going to put some leaves and other things, but I'm just going to leave it like this. So basically, if you're wearing the hat or your little, you know, child or whoever, you're going to put the little flower where you think might be cute. So obviously over to the side somewhere. I think right there is cute. That's good. And so I am going to a little bit more over. So what I'm going to do is just sew it into that. Just like if you were sewing anything. You're going to take your yarn um, needle and just go up and down. You kind of want to just catch the back stitches because you don't want the, the stitches to show through. So I'm just catching some here and there in the back and just kind of paying attention to what I'm doing. You know, going to the next little area of the hat go into some more of the flower and just try to anchor it down really well, okay? And this part, it's going to kind of fade in together because they're both yellow, but I'm just kind of pushing it maybe in here, maybe this part of the flower. This is really awkward for me to do this in front of the camera. So hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Uh, I know it was kind of quick. It wasn't a beginner's tutorial, although I did explain some of the things in depth, but I just kind of want you guys to understand, so I'm going to go back into this. So I'm just getting some of the stitches in the hat, some of the stitches in the flower. And then you just finish it off. So after I'm done and I'm happy with how secure it is, that's pretty good. Um, just gonna go through the flower and the hat one more time. Bring it through to the back. And then you can just finish it off back here. Since it's yellow, it's just gonna kinda mix in anyway. It'll blend in. And I do have some hats like this in my store, Envy store for sale, if anyone's interested. Um, I kinda just preferred to show you guys, I don't know. I just wanna make some hats to share with you all and if you have any questions on anything else, please let me know. Um, I do a lot of crocheting and this is my style, this is my way of doing it, so hopefully you guys enjoy it and I'll see you all at the next one. I'll have some pictures for you too. So thanks for watching guys. Bye now.